three preseason friendlies, three wins today. The latest one coming against the young West Ham side. Was that the best performance of the three from your squad? I think it was the, the toughest game. In, not necessarily physically, but obviously they moved the ball really well. These are a talented group of lads and they had a few a few more senior players in there as well, which obviously added to, to the quality of their side. So um, there's a lot of boys that I know. I've known them since they were... <laughs> First came into the uh, into the club when they were, were little, so it's good to see them on the pitch as well. But yeah, no, there was the, there was there was a lot of positives from today. Um, but I also think you see in there little things that we still need to work on. Um, they got through us a few times a bit too easy, but like look, we, a clean sheet was what we asked for before the game. We don't want to concede a goal. We need to get into the habit of think, keeping clean sheets, and both sides did what they needed to do to do that. You mentioned they, they got through a few times. There was one occasion where they hit the inside of a post and the ball ran away. But uh, we, we're seeing in every game now some bodies on the line. We're seeing blocks in the area that, that maybe is a new aspect to Ebsolete's defending. But there are players out there like Tyler Cordner, Louis John and others uh, that really do put themselves in the line of fire, don't they? Yeah, well, that's what, that was part of the recruitment drive once the season ended. We want defenders who love defending. Like that's their felt just as much as strikers like scoring goals. We want defenders who love to defend, and you see that today with some of the last ditch, ditch tackles. And don't get me wrong, that there's going to be games where the quality of the finish is going to take the, the block out of it. But so far, so good with regards to their them putting the bodies on the line. And from our, our perspective, we, we need to value that because and celebrate that just as much as the goals down the other end of the pitch. Because I think that's what that can be sometimes the difference between getting a decent point away from home and coming home with nothing. Dom Samuel, uh, five goals now in pre-season friendlies in three games. He's looking as though he's moving very smoothly. He looks very confident, very, very easy. He looks like he's in a really good place. Yeah, he's happy. And I think that's, as a, as a, as a person with his family, he's, he's a happy person at the minute. And we, I think that's when you get the best out of people. And you're seeing it at the minute. Plus, he's, he's a phenomenal footballer. He's a great football player. And he's complemented by what we've got. And he can't do what he does without everyone else, and he'll be the first to say that. So he's in a, he's in a good vein of form at the minute, and there, long may that continue. And the second goal, you, you've signed two players this week. Uh, one was Tom Dallison, the centre back, who came on in the second half, and the other was Kwame Thomas, who came on. His second touch in an Ebsleet shirt produced a goal from a header. Mm. Uh, th- I mean, that, well, it was uh, it, just what the doctor ordered, wasn't it? Yeah, and when you look at the profile of. And we've, we've spoke about this Chaz, before with our with our recruitment. We, we we specify profiles in certain areas, and he is exactly what we wanted, and we've wanted for a while. And so talks have been ongoing for a long time, to be fair. And and it's it's just a delight to have him in the building because he brings a completely different dynamic to what the other three or four bring. So suddenly we've got an array of forwards that, like we said after the after the Cray game, that when we actually make changes in the game, we can actually change the game as opposed to just like for like. And the, the competition between the forwards we've got is very good and healthy and it's a good competition and they want each other to score. And I think when you've got that environment, um, they're always going to cause teams problems. And you can you can produce different types of goals as well. Like That one came from across from the wing and, and he yeah. was there to just really nudge it on uh, beyond the goalkeeper, wasn't he? It was Exactly. Uh, it, actually comes, it actually starts from him. So there's a ball into him. He actually holds the ball up, wins the first contact, brings the other players into play, and then he's in the box to get, to get on the end of what he wants. That's what he wants as a, as a forward. And I think from our perspective, you, you want variety, don't you? If, 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 you, if you're only a one-trick pony, then it's, once you, if you've got the players to work it out and stop it, then it makes it very difficult for you to win football matches. And we're saying now that, OK, we need to be good at that, but we also need to be good at this and we also need to be good at that. So we, we can vary our game accordingly. You changed the side around at half-time. You produced a, a different 11. Uh, I mean, you got to see all the squad give them game time, um, or just after the break, rather. Uh, you, 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 they, they all got game time this afternoon. You must be pleased with the way everybody performed and, and you're still having a look at a couple of trialists to complete the jigsaw. Yeah, I, I think from, from a business perspective, I said to you on Tuesday, I wanted to do two more. We've done two more and now it's about, OK, we can relax and we can be patient and we can have a look. And I'd actually go as far as to say, we probably don't need anyone else from where we wanted to be. But obviously these these young lads have come in on trial and we quite like the look of them. So it's that'll be a conversation of how that will work and how they'll blend in with the squad and what the kind of long-term future for them is with, if, if they decided to stay with us. But 
from an actual first team squad perspective at the minute, I think we, we've done some very good business and we're very happy with what we've done so far. On to Tuesday, Tunbridge away. Um, different challenge again. I mean, each game is a different challenge in pre-season because the teams are at different levels yeah. in terms of their development. And Tunbridge, managed by Jay Saunders, another former Ebsley player, um, you know, he's got a lot of uh, friends still here at the club, produces good sides at Tunbridge, and uh, that's going to be quite a test as well. Yeah, and like, like we've already spoken about off-air, we, we've, we've hand-picked our friendies. We want to play against teams that are going to cause us similar problems to what we're going to face in the season. And Tunbridge is just another one of those sides that that tick those boxes. So they're all going to be tough games from now. We play two League One sides. They're going to be tough. And our, our kind of mantra is be ready for the, the 10th of August. Iron out all the things we need to iron out. Will we be perfect then? No. We've still got stuff to develop and inf improve on. But can we be as close to it as we possibly can be, utilising the fi fixtures that we're playing? I don't think anybody wants your job to pick that first 11 at Gateshead. It's going to be quite a task, I think. That's, that's the exciting thing about it. We, we, the biggest prerequisite for our, our recruitment was starters. We don't want squad players. We want starters. We want players that we've got, we've got five from seven now. We want players that can come on the pitch and bring starting quality and credit to all the work that's gone on behind the scenes to get these players in because I genuinely believe we've got that. But... It doesn't mean anything until the ball rolls on the 10th and we see what uh, what they put out on the pitch. So we'll we'll keep our feet firmly on the ground with that one. Well, it's getting closer and closer, but you've got plenty of time to uh, make up your mind. So uh, let's go to Tuesday and see what that produces. Yeah, hopefully hopefully we come for it unscathed like we did today. Well done, Danny. Congratulations. Cheers. See you on Tuesday. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.